always a good sign when you're, you're already fighting fit, you're ready to go. Um, everything's everything's going well, training wise. And then I've been like, fucking hell, it's five weeks today. Um, it's fucking six weeks today. So I've got an extra week worth of training to sharpen up even more. So obviously the new opponent will be named up for this week and I'll have even more time to prep for it. Like I said, I was prepping for the fat spud that they call the leech fraud, the faggot that pulled out, and I will keep mentioning him. I hope it gets back to him because he is a nothing but a bullying pussy. But like I said, I've got six weeks, so and like I said, the way I've been training already and the way I've been feeling about myself. Obviously today I'm tired from the trip to London yesterday. Eight hour drive absolutely wiped me out. Um, said um again i was trying not to say him but can't help it so yeah uh six weeks so i'm buzzing and <laughs> i actually thought it was five so i find out i've got an extra week is an added bonus so like i said guys i'll keep you all updated with my training how i'm going when i get the update on my new opponent the um promo stuff that we did yesterday was really great you know i got my kids it was on Fight TV. Uh, they're absolutely buzzing with children to to made it onto the onto TV, and then I did an interview backstage, which should be released hopefully in the next couple of days. Talking about the fight, talking about why I'm back, talking about what the plans are, and just in general, just being positive and being happy again. It's a long time for me to get to this position that I'm in right now. And it's the best I've felt. And I just want to say is I can recommend to anyone, you're feeling down, fuck the pub off. Don't be going drinking. It's a temporary solution with a long lasting negative effect because you'll be wiped out for days. You'll be depressed to fuck in the morning. You'll probably think, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have another drink to make myself feel better. And do you know what? That does work. It does make you feel better makes you feel better for a lot that next day and then it's double jeopardy again it's a double hangover double the consequences when you that that wears off you end up losing money because you're ringing in work sick making up bullshit excuses as to why you're off work letting people down so it's not only costing you the money that you're spending on the night out it's costing you the money that you could have been earning when you're making all your bullshit excuses for being rough so, like I said, if I can feel as good as I feel now, being as fucked up as I am, um, you guys can as well. Anyone can do it. Just get yourself in the gym. You don't have to sign yourself up to a gym. You don't have to sign any monthly contract. Go out for a walk. You know, build your fitness up. Get a few PTs in. Do something positive, and it does help. Believe me, it helps. So like I said guys, it's six weeks, not five weeks. That's buzzing for me. I might go and get a doner kebab now so I've got six weeks to get the weight back down. So everything's been going to plan apart from the fat spud pulling out. But like I said, it is what it is. At least this time, you know, what I was gonna beat him, it was obvious I was gonna beat him. I'd have probably been known as beating the bum. And I wouldn't have got any any satisfaction from that really. I wouldn't have got any praise for that. I'd sooner lose to someone who's a decent quality fighter and put a good fight up than fight someone who's just full of shit, who talks shit, who says he's had 63 amateur wins lost for. And, I'd, you know, I'd sooner, like I said, I'd sooner lose to, to a decent fighter than beat a bum like him. So let's see what, what comes up next. Whoever it is, I'll take the fight. I'm sharp, I'm ready, I'm fit. I've had a good training camp, the camp's still ongoing, and like I said, I've got an extra week. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll speak to you all guys soon.